Hello, welcome to this channel, channel of love. And I'm bringing to, to today. I'm bringing you a title which says "When to Take Back a Cheetah." When to take back a cheetah? This is the title of this message this hour. Well, there's a lot of people who are undergoing really great pain because someone they really love with all their hearts has cheated upon them. Whenever somebody has uh, cheated on you, you feel so bad because you really, you've invested a lot in this person. And because you've invested a lot in this person, you don't want to lose him. You don't want him to leave you because he's someone of great value to your heart. Maybe you have been with him for a long time. Maybe, I mean, he gave you a lot of hope that you're really going to enjoy your relationship. And sometimes because you love him and you're used to him, you are afraid if I start a new relationship, it might be the same thing, might repeat. So I better stay with this guy. I better stay with this lady. This is possible and it is understandable. But the thing is, history shows that uh, people can change for better, can turn into a new leaf, unless they will be able to follow certain uh, procedures, certain conditions, which will enable them really to change. And therefore, he or she who has cheated on you will need some help from you, the victim. So you need to understand that when you want to take back a cheater, there's some work which needs to be done by the two of you. Not only one side, it's not only him, but you also need to understand this is a teamwork thing. So you need to work together to make sure that the same mistake won't repeat again. And therefore, the following are very, very important if you want to take back a cheetah and continue with the relationship. Number one, take a good scan of his behavior. What, 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 why I'm saying this? I'm saying this, well, you need to understand that this is a person who has got a history behind him. Maybe he was abused when he was a child. Maybe he had a, a, a girlfriend who had cheated on him and therefore he was revenging and he was cheating and cheating and cheating to the next extent that he became a sex addict. That's the possibility. Now, if he's a sex addict and he, he needs help as well, so you need to understand that the history of this person is very important for you to, to know so it may help him change and become a better person than he is. Yes, it's a very painful thing when someone cheats on you. It's a very painful thing. Like you, but you need to always understand that you, you need somebody who is humble enough to admit enough that, well, I made a mistake and I don't want to lose you and I'm prepared to make a change. So it doesn't matter how much he say I'm sorry. So it doesn't matter if he, he sobs or what, whatever. No, no. You need some assurance that will, you will take it within your heart. Instead of, taking the, of keeping the pain, you need something to get inside to heal the pain. So he need, number one, to make sure that he tells you exactly how long this relationship was. And he need to tell you all the details. What time was he using to cheat on you? So you need to get a clear picture of how and when and which time and how was he hiding it from you till you discovered the, the day you discovered it. So if he's humble enough, if he is humble enough to give you all the details without getting angry, because he, he also needs to answer your questions. You should not just ignore your questions. Oh no, just forget it. Just forget it. No, it's oh, just forget it. I won't do it again. No, this is not enough. He need to come clear. You know what the Bible says? Uh, God give grace to the humble, but He opposes the proud. You, if you're a Christian, you, you could have heard this. The Bible says God give grace to the humble, but He opposes the proud. And therefore, if He's humble enough to really tell you everything, to come clean, then at least you can see this is a person who can really change. You know that when the Bible says repent, it means you turn around. You are going this direction, you are going west, now you go east. So he need really to show us this is someone who is willing to turn around for the life of cheating. That's number one. Number two, a great mistake need a great work. You need to understand this one. A great mistake need a great work. It's just like a, 
when a storm, a hurricane hit a town, bridges are destroyed, electricity and power is destroyed. So the government need to really invest a lot in bringing back everything, power to normal, uh, uh, roads uh, and all inf infrastructure to normal. So because this is the person who has broken the trust you invested on him, he need to be the one to do the hard work to bring back the peace you had lost after you discovered his cheating or her cheating. And therefore, you need, you who are the victim, you need to come down with a list of things which you need him to do. For example, I'll give you a call, and I won't call you a second time. If it passes a half an hour, you haven't called me back, that will be a crime. You're looking for trouble. I will text you. If after half an hour you haven't replied to my text, you need to give a good explanation why. And you don't need, you, you tell him this. You, you don't have to wait for me to ask you why you didn't pick my call. You don't have to need to, for me to ask why didn't you reply to my SMS earlier, faster. He need to show his humility in, the, in practical terms by really showing how much really he does want to hurt you again. Another thing, of course, it's all come with a list of things. For example, uh, when you are apart, one of the things you want him to do, to call you often or text you often, this needs to be done. And he should be able to pick your call. When you are very far, uh, uh, you are apart, you need to be certain that whenever you call, he'll be able to pick your, 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 your call. So he need to develop a discipline of handling his or her cell phone. If he can't do that, then, if he doesn't agree to that, to those conditions, and there are many others which, which, which you can come up with, then he is not worthy to be with you in that relationship. He's not worthy at all because he's not willing to do the work of restoring the peace you have had before the discovery of this cheating. So you need to remember, those are things you need to always remember, that he needs to live to show that he's going to do some good work. Another thing, of course, which you need to remember when you are taking back a cheater, he need to come with new things. You know, when, it, when before you, the discovery of this cheating, there are things which of course were just normal, very cold. There's not, there's not much excitement. So you need to he need to comes up with things which are very exciting to you. For example, being affectionate. How, of, how often does he touch you, or does she touch you? When you're walking together on the streets, how do you, does he hold your hand? Does he open the door car for you? He should do some more remote, remote, romantic things. So he needs to study how to really be romantic to you in a, in a better way. The next time you are excited about these new things. You know what? In psychology, for a relationship to go on peaceably and excitingly, if you make one mistake, you need to do good things, sweet things, five of them, to cover up that one, one mistake. In order to cover up one mistake, in order to bring healing to your partner for the one mistake you've made, you need to do some good, exciting thing, five of them, to cover that one. So he need to do this work to make sure that you feel now you are really loved. Now you are number one in the life of this person. If you can do that, I think you'll be deceiving yourself to take him back. So you need to be sure that this person is willing to do the job. Lastly, if you're taking back a teacher, you need to remember you've got a work to do. Develop an environment of open communication. Transparency is very important. So you should always feel free to share whatever feelings you have to him, and he should always be free to tell you whatever he feels. Because someone might use excuses to cheat on you, which he had never told you. For example, if you're not good in bed, why does he tell you? Why doesn't she tell you? So you need to develop an environment of transparency whereby everyone feel, feels free to share what goes on in his heart. If you're boring, he should tell you you're boring. If you are chatterbox, you talk too much, he should be willing to tell you. If you're stingy, you don't give gifts, you don't give, uh, 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 you don't support your, your partner financially when he needs a support. Those are things you need to always remember. You need to share that, but these are the need, things which we need to make our relationship strong and keep 
cheating out of this relationship. My dear friends, uh, if you haven't sus subscribed to this channel, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. And the more uh, videos are coming on in this channel. And God bless you and enjoy a good relationship and take care of your good self.